renowned for being a difficult job at the best of times. Hard work, long hours and at the mercy of the weather. But one family from Walkerith near Gainsborough is making it even harder. They're attempting to use Victorian methods and equipment to rear their flock of sheep. Our Royal Affairs correspondent Lindy Smith was there to meet them. It looks like a farm from yesteryear, but this piece of living history is nestled just outside of Gainsborough. We try and keep it long walls. They're a rare breed, and they're fast dying out, and we're just trying to campaign to keep you know, a breed going and keep them alive. For James, rearing his flock as they would have been in the breed's heyday is the perfect way to raise awareness of their plight. Nothing comes easy on this farm. Barley to feed the sheep is ground in this 1920s mill. But it's during lambing when their dedication is tested. This is a shepherd's hut. It's what we use at lambing time to keep it close to the sheep. If we have any difficulties, it can be there on hand to assist them. James and his girlfriend sleep in here for days during January's freezing temperatures. She actually accepts it quite well, uh, which is a big plus, because there's not many lasses who are 19 year old that would actually go along with all this. <laughs> it's like being married to a 150 year old. Well, I'm from quite a modern family farm myself. I thought it was a bit strange at first, but so now I'm more used to it. Like It's more what I know now and how I'm used to it. There's plenty of restoration to invest in, like this tractor, one of several James has rescued. But funding the work isn't easy when these fleeces sell for just £15 each, a world away from Victorian times when the wool was much more valuable. Lincoln Longwall's fleece is actually worth its weight in gold. A lot of the churches in Lincolnshire are actually made from the profits from uh, the wool. Uh, Boston Stump, they say its foundations are built on wool. 100 tonnes of Lincoln Longwall, how true it is, I don't know if it's metaphorical or what, but that's what they say. The ambition is to rear the largest flock of Lincoln Longwalls in the country, all by Victorian means, even if it's just for fun rather than financial reward. Lindsay Smith, BBC Look North.